Hello and welcome back to the channel and we are here with the first of four videos that I'm going to be doing from all of the videos that were released from the Back to Hogwarts event. Now we've got four videos that were based around all of the common rooms for each of the houses in Hogwarts and we got a nice tour of them. There's quite a few secrets in these videos. Today's video we are starting with Ravenclaw and we're going to be looking at all the secrets we can find in the footage we get from Ravenclaw common room. If you like anything Hogwarts Legacy then you are in the right place because on this channel we break down every single video that we get i go frame by frame through the videos and see what secrets i can find if that sounds like something you're interested in consider subscribing to the channel don't forget to give this video a like and i will leave links down below and also up in the cards to any of my previous breakdowns one of the most recent ones was for the games kong footage that we got but let's get into this ravenclaw breakdown so the ravenclaw scene opens up with a wide shot of part of the common room area and we can see a large statue of rowena ravenclaw herself and you can see the lost diadem of Ravenclaw on her head that Harry comes in to get an example of when searching for the Horcrux in the Deathly Hallows. And one thing that I love about seeing this common room is we finally get to see it in the right colours and that is the bronze and blue that were originally written within the book. There is colours of this everywhere as you can see it pan across the room here. In the books, the Ravenclaw common room is described as having tall arched ceilings with stars all across them and you can see them portrayed perfectly here. Now as we go through with these breakdowns, you will see that most of the common rooms have got things in that relate to that house. In the Ravenclaw common room, there is lots of books and musical instruments which signify the intelligence and the learning side of Ravenclaw that we know that the house possesses. In this first scene alone, you can see a harp and some sort of lute on the table here. As we move into this scene, we can see there is a fast travel possibility into the common room, as you can see some flu flame on the side here. This has been confirmed already, this is going to be the fast travel mechanism within the game. So as you can see, there is a flame in the common room that allows you to teleport directly here should you need to. Also, it looks like directly opposite the flu flame, there is a chest. We do see these in other common rooms. I think these chests are going to hold items that you can take with you on your adventures, such as the magical plants that we know you can use in battles or even potentially some potions that we can use to heal ourselves. All of the wars in Ravenclaw seem to be dedicated to learning of some sort. There is books and all sorts of studying instruments around all of the wars. We then move into what I believe is going to be the main area of the common room. There is a fire glowing in the middle of the room inside this giant chimney apparatus and then behind it you can see the giant eagle on the wall that we saw in one of the original trailers. These wide open windows will give a fantastic views around Hogwarts. I was really hoping we were going to get a view out of them so that we could try to locate the common room from the outside of the castle from some of the other shots that we got of the castle in the earlier trailers. But unfortunately you cannot see a lot out of the windows in this trailer. Again as we move into this next room we can see more hints on the intelligence side of the Ravenclaw persona. There is books all over the walls and there is even a telescope to allow students to do their astronomy homework during the night time. Even on this table here it shows the creative side of a Ravenclaw. There appears to be different pots of coloured ink used for drawing. We can see that somebody has drawn a picture of Hogwarts which looks incredible. There also appears to be a picture of the Owlry in the top right hand side of this easel. This desk here although different reminds me of the desk that we see in the room of requirements with the owl perch on it. I think potentially this could be a desk that you can use the owl post system through the game. However I think this is going to be the one that's located in your dormitory if you are a Ravenclaw rather than having to go to the room of the requirements to, to use it. To the right hand side of this desk there is a little stand here which could easily be a perch for an owl. You can also see what appears to be some sort of wax melt stamps which would make sense if you are sending letters. This area is actually located in the corner of the common room although it looks like a different location. You can see the desk and the drawing easel over in this corner. You can also see the chair that this character is sat in. We now get our first look at the entrance to Ravenclaw common room and it is very similarly described to what we see in the book. There's a giant eagle on the door with a knocker. This eagle in the books means that you normally have to provide a answer to a riddle. It'd be interesting to see if you have to do this to get into the room. However, as our character approaches, you can see that the silver knocker is glowing slightly and then the glow disappears as the eagle starts to move and open up. So I think potentially it would just be interactable and you will be able to just click to open the doors. 
As you can see on this door, if the wings are spread, you would not be able to open it because it goes beyond the boundaries of the door. However, when you answer the riddle correctly, the wings fold in so the door can open. I absolutely love this animation. As the door opens, there is also a statue of a giant eagle behind it, along with some constellations on the ceiling. We then get a different angle of the original room that we saw with the harp and the statue of Rowena Ravenclaw. We can see our character coming up these stairs from the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room and turning into this main part of the common room area. From this shot we get a very good idea of the layout of the common room itself. You will head from this entrance door past this giant eagle statue. You will be able to go right or left which will lead you up these staircases up into this main area that leads through into the fireplace. As you enter into this main fireplace room, there are stairs that go upwards, which I believe leads to this room here. There are also stairs leading downwards, which I believe will go to the respective male and female dormitories. I am guessing that the stairs down to the right hand side might be the stairs that lead down to the girls dormitory as that seems to be the only staircase with suits of armour outside of it. We know that there is protections around the girls dormitories to stop the boys from heading up to them as we've seen in the Gryffindor common room. I think that perhaps this is going to be the staircase to the girls dormitory because if a boy tries to go down there the suits of armour will block the path. I believe this area is going to be above the statue of Ravenclaw area. As you can see this chain coming down, I believe it is going to be holding on to this chandelier that we see here. There also appears to be a slight opening above this chandelier, however it is very hard to see from this angle. There seems to be a spiral staircase ahead of us leading up further, however there does not seem to be much evidence of rooms higher up than this tower because there seems to be nothing obscuring the window that we see above it. So it'll be interesting to see where this room goes, there's nothing obvious in this trailer to suggest exactly where that is. So now that we've actually had the walkthrough I'm going to take a look at some of the interesting features that I've seen around the Ravenclaw common room. The first one is in this final shot here, we can see some words written on the ceiling. And the first word that we see clearly is the word Doctrina. Doctrina means some form of teaching, instruction or learning, which goes very well with the Ravenclaw mottos. The second word we can see is over to the left on the ceiling here, and it says Dokens. Dokens is a noun and it means associate professor. It is somebody that ranks higher than an assistant professor, but ranks lower than the actual professor themselves. So the next word that we can see clearly is the word ratio. Now ratio is the relationship between two groups or two amounts. It's often used in mathematics and science when comparing data. Now we can see half of a word here, which starts off with the letters C-O-G-N-I-T. Now my first word that I thought initially was cognitive, and this is to be involved in some sort of conscious intellectual activity, which again goes very well with Ravenclaw. I've tried searching for all of these words together, but there is no other explanation for this word, so I think it is going to be the word cognitive. Some of the features of a general gameplay that we see is that not all of the pictures move. Some of them seem to be quite static. Maybe if you approach them, they will move then. But I can understand that they would not be able to make every single picture move in Hogwarts. But there is a few that we do see moving. In a literal frame and you'll miss it moment, there is a notice board that you can see to the right that has a Chudley Cannons poster on it. You can see the well-known orange colours that we know from Ron's room. There appears to be what looks like a key Keeper from the headwear however it might just be headwear worn by some of the players we see Ron wearing this in the films when he's playing Quidditch. There's also items that are interactable as we move through the game as you can see with this small globe thing here you can press square and use your wand on it. It looks like our character is soaring his wand up his sleeve of his robe because he seems to do some sort of twitch as the wand comes out which looks like he is pulling it from the inside of his sleeve of his robe. As he uses his magic on it, the globe spins. I like to see just little elements like this that are interactable. How it will be a shame if no Bertie Bots, every River Bleans fly out of them like they do in the old games. We get a clear shot of some of the pictures in this scene, and there appears to be somebody holding what I believe is a dragon's egg. Potentially somebody who is famous for figuring out something to do with dragons. And the next one is a moving photo that we do get to see. They appear to be somebody who is grooming a Niffler. And the final thing of note in all of these trailers is the fact that we get a look at these House Pride robes that have been announced today as well. And the Ravenclaw one looks fantastic. 
is a blue robe with a bronze highlights. You can see the bronze outline of a slightly darker blue eagle at the bottom of the robe. And the robe is a two-tone with a more bronzed element to the left-hand side of it. All of these robes look absolutely incredible and I really want to be wandering around Hogwarts wearing them because they just look so good. So there you have it. That was my breakdown for this Ravenclaw common room footage that we got from the Back to Hogwarts Day event. It was really interesting to see the Ravenclaw common room properly. We could visit it in the books, but we never saw it in the movies. And it's one place I've always wanted to see being a Ravenclaw myself. And I did love so much detail that they put in it to these games and these videos. The common room just looks absolutely incredible and the secrets that we found are really interesting. Let me know if I've missed anything in the comments and just give me a comment about what you thought about the Ravenclaw common room. I will be putting a poll up in the channel to see which video you want me to break down next and I will be doing the next three over the next day or so and they will be released in quick succession over the weekend. Also, I've set up a Discord for the channel, so please come over to the Discord. The link will be down below and join in the conversation there so we have conversations around everything to do with Harry Potter, not just in the comment section of my videos. But that is it for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to see you in the next one. But until then, mischief managed.